Hello, I'm Frank Fellers, the owner of Fellers. Today we're going to talk about transfer tape, also known as application tape, also known as pre-mask. There might be some other terms that it's known by. I'm really fortunate to have Justin Pate here. He's the world's leading wrap trainer. Of course, you train a lot of people in sign shops, wrap shops, and almost all of them have some type of transfer tape or masking tape or pre-mask in their shops and hopefully you can tell us why Justin. Yeah, I mean it's one of those tools where if you're using cut vinyl basically what it is once you weed it you want to get those letters on a window how do you do it? You're not going to take each letter off so basically you transfer those to here and then you put them on. That's why it's called transfer tape. Okay, okay. so for me this is in regular signage this is just a workhorse. It's, you know it's like you put it on the top, use it, pull it off, goes in the trash. So again for me this is really really essential to have for basic but what you can also use it for is a wide variety of tips and tricks for car, you know for even wrapping cars or windows because basically what this also can do is you know keep material that's maybe sensitive to scratching keep it from scratching before you get it on so what i'm going to show is a lot of tips and tricks on how to use this because it comes in different widths and styles you can really customize it to whatever you're wrapping and for me it's not super expensive but it's really important because it really reduces mistakes and creates really great workflow so it's really essential to have very cool yeah i even know some of our customers use transfer tape to help uh, stop the vinyl from stretching so much when it's hot outside. So exactly. just a multitude of uses. Really glad that you're going to talk to us about that in this video. So thank you very much, Justin. Awesome. Thank you. So not only does pre-mask come in a wide variety of sizes, it also comes in a standard white, which is basically opaque, and you also have clear. So for a side shop, you want to have a wide variety of sizes and styles on hand. And the adhesive on the pre-mask comes in different strengths from low tack to medium to high. And you're going to use these in a variety of different circumstances based on what type of job you're using. So again, to get different widths, styles. And if you've never used pre-mask before, once you take it off the roll and it touches itself, whether it's even low tack adhesive, it's really hard to pull apart. So always try to keep the pre-mask from touching itself. Also, when you're using pre-mask, especially the clear, it can tend to wrinkle and distort. But if the pre-mask is flat, this doesn't affect on what it's covering. So you could even with those scratches there, you can put that over, let's say, cut vinyl letters and it doesn't affect it. And of course, cut vinyl shapes can be removed from the backing paper and placed on the vehicle. But with this many numbers and letters, it's extremely difficult to line those up by hand. And this is where pre-mask comes in. You simply transfer these letters to the adhesive side of the pre-mask and apply. Within the sign shop, it's a very good idea to organize the rolls of pre-mask so that the sign shop or the production department can really grab the rolls and have easy access to them. So again, they don't have to be at room temperature or the same temperature, let's say you're printing, but you really want to have a good idea. So try to get the short rolls on the front end and the higher rolls on the back side. There are two ways to apply pre-mask film. One is with the laminator. Laminators have a little work to set up in terms of loading the material onto it, but it applies a nice even pressure from side to side. Another way to do it is by hand. By hand is a little trickier, but it's very quick and straightforward and it's ideal for smaller panels like this. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using the pre-mask that is wider than the panel itself, top to bottom, left to right. Set the roll on the panel because the roll is heavy, it's going to keep the material from shifting. Then with the, just a little portion there, about six or seven inches, you want to squeegee it onto the cutting table here, nice and firm. So again, press it down and once this is down nice and firm, hold it like a hinge. So in a sense, this is a permanent hinge. And then you want to slowly and carefully release the pre-mask from the roll nice and even, but don't make a cut here. Keep it on the roll and then keep the roll in place. And this just keeps the material at about a 10 degree angle, nice and even. Then just squeegee top to bottom. Again, you can use the hard part of the squeegee get nice firm squeegee strokes top to bottom trying to avoid any kind of wrinkles and try to use a wide one try to get as much space down as possible work in increments but again having a wide squeegee is nice and straightforward here because it is flat then once it's been applied you want to go over thing nice and firm extra firm pressure here to make sure that the masking tape is holding very firm on the cut vinyl and again Pre-mask is ideal for large cut vinyl jobs like this. So, so again, this is a large trailer. Lots of pre-mask was used and everything's cut into small shapes, so they're very easy to put on, very straightforward. So how you want to release the pre-mask and the cut vinyl is set up a hinge here. This is with masking tape. Once the backing paper is released, use the hard edge of the squeegee to really force the material onto the vehicle. So again, nice firm pressure here. And again, the hard edge of the squeegee can be used because the pre-mask is getting pulled off. It's not damaging the cut vinyl underneath. Again, same as the production, you want to go over the thing with a firm squeegee stroke once it's been applied, just make sure everything sticks nice and easy. And then pull the pre-mask off at 180 degrees. 
When you want to use low tack pre-mask is when you're installing on glass in particular. You don't want to have super high tack because the surface energy of glass is very high. So again, low tack pre-mask will just make it easier to pull off. Then if you're doing precision work with let's say two layers of cut vinyl film here, this is when you want to use clear. Clear just really helps in the setup for the install. So again, sometimes clear lamination might be a little more expensive than the white, but it makes it much easier to install. Because right here, the Rap Institute needs to fit on this background shape here. Again, hard to see with the white opaque pre-mask, but here, because it's clear, very easy to set up and get in the right placement, shift up, left or down. Because it's so small, you can really put it on by hand. This speeds up the install. So again, changing the pre-mask for this style of job can just make the installs go much quicker. Pre-mask is not as flexible as, let's say, cast material, so when you're installing, especially on curves, it's a very good idea to make relief cuts. So here, working around the bottom section of this Ford Raptor, again, just making that relief cut there relaxes it so it keeps the graphics in the right alignment and shape. So here, nothing has to be straight, but it needs to fit on precise body lines. So making that relief cut just relaxes it. Everything lines up to the body lines there, keeps the right distance. Then once everything lines up and is squeegeed on, simply release the backing paper. So again, lots of relief cuts, especially when you get to the say bumpers and fenders on vehicles. The pre-mask is not only used for cut vinyl film, it's also used for film that's not laminated or has liquid lamination. These films are notoriously thin and they can stretch and whiten quite easily once the backing paper is released. Not only that, is once they fold on itself, because they're thin, it tends to be very hard to pull apart and this can ruin a panel very, very quickly. So again, not laminating these panels, yes, it saves money, but it can ruin the panel quickly. So again, pre-masking these, because it's such a low price point, even if it folds on itself, you can easily pull it apart and it doesn't stretch. So here you're going to see a demonstration of two panels being applied. On the left here is one panel that is unlaminated film. On the right is the same material, same print, but it's been pre-masked. So you're going to see them install. So again, the exact same shape, exact same vehicle. As the backing paper is released, you see that it stretches a lot. I've made marks at the bottom, those tick marks with the orange. You'll see that now, left to right, the material is starting to bunch up. You see that by putting too much pressure in the middle, it's fed the material and you see lots of wrinkles and tension. Now, if you continue going here, this not only is distorting the material and is uh, stretching, but it tends to wrinkle on the sides really quickly because again, obviously those wrinkles on the film, I mean there's tension and then if you continue to squeegee, well you get wrinkles that are on the side and those can be permanent and hard to come out. But also because it's unlaminated, now as you're squeegeeing, it tends to scratch. Now, same material going on, using the hard side of the squeegee, keeping the backing paper on, pulling with the exact same tension, but look how evenly it goes on. Very quickly, straightforward, and it's staying straight. And most importantly, watch the orange tick marks here, because the material hasn't stretched. The material on the left stretched about two and a half inches, and here it stretched exactly zero inches. And that's because pre-mask has a nice firm body to it and doesn't stretch. So it keeps that unlaminated film, in this case is around two millimeters, from stretching at all. And what I'm doing here is once both films have been applied, I'm taking again this water-soluble orange marker and running it on the side, and then I'm going to pull the pre-mask off. And notice I'm pulling out 180 degrees, but notice the blue, perfect condition, no wrinkles, and then more importantly, no scratches. Because again, that pre-mask kept the squeegee from scratching it. Even though the buffer was used on the other side, that buffer, because it was unlaminated, scratched the surface. So again, nice, perfect blue here. And again, the blue stays even top to bottom, no shading or fading here. And what's most important is when I take off the unlaminated, you can see that the line here on the right that was pre-masked is perfectly straight. And on the left, no pre-mask, really warped. So again, you can tell that this is gonna lower quality for the long term. So just a little bit of pre-mask makes a big difference for that. And now pre-mask makes a huge difference, not only for applying graphics, but in terms of lowering dirt during an install. These vents on the front bumpers can be notoriously difficult to clean and take a lot of time. You wanna take the car outside, use an air compressor, what can really lower install times and really get the prep work done quickly is take a little bit of pre-mask. It's not very expensive. And again, you want to use different widths in here. This is a wide vent here at the front. So again, just put some pre-mask up, cut it outside shape. Very easy to put on. Doesn't have to be exact. Even if it wrinkles, it's not a big deal. It's all about keeping that dirt down. So again, just cover lots of vents with that. And again, especially when working on a hood, there's lots of dirt that builds up here on the windshield area. And again, that can take a lot of time to clean, especially if you're doing color change. You don't want any dirt on the film. So even you can just skip cleaning that whole area entirely and just take a little bit of pre-mask here. And again, this is the shorter version and just lay it on top. So again, this is very quick and easy. And again, it really creates a good barrier to keep dirt out. Especially when you're working on fenders, or in this case, wrapping a rim, 
what you can do is you can take pre-mask and put it on the tire. This just keeps any dirt from jumping out. So again, you can go outside and clean the tires, which takes time, or you can just take a little bit of pre-mask. doesn't cost much, and most importantly, it doesn't take a lot of time to put on. So again, just put a little bit of pre-mask at the top, and again, just makes a huge difference in terms of dirt and debris. Here, when you get to a boat, especially for a boat, lots of boats have these little buffers on the side, and those fibers can get under the film very, very quickly. So what you want to do is take a little bit of pre-mask before you start installing, and then just run it on top. And again, this is, makes a huge difference in terms of keeping that dirt down, but most importantly, what I like about it is it lowers surface energy, because again, it can be hard to get the graphics underneath this raised fender area here, so it's doing two combinations here, the pre-mask. It's lowering the surface energy, and it's keeping dirt away. So it's a great combination here, and again, it doesn't take too much time, and is extremely inexpensive. And continuing the theme of lowering surface energy, this spoiler sticks out really far on this back window of the vehicle. So again, taking a very thin roll of the pre-mask, applying this here doesn't take much time, but it makes a huge difference once you start applying the window perforation. See how easily it tucks under there, otherwise it's grabbing, it can really distort the graphics and make it a difficult install. So again, taking that little time on the front end with some pre-mask can really save some time and quality on the back end. And here's a really quick tip from Charlie Trio. He's from a company in Oklahoma called Lettering Express. And what he does with pre-mask sometimes is when he wants to make really good clean inlays on exotic cars, is what he does is takes a pre-mask and puts it on the spot that he really wants to lay that film in. And again, running knifeless tape here is possible, but it can be really difficult sometimes, especially on that deep part where the light is. So what he does is he traces it with a pencil. Once he gets the right shape, he just simply slowly and carefully picks the pre-mask up nice and even. And again, this is just nice and thick. It's not going to tear. Try not to make any relief cuts so it pulls off nice and even. So again, this is an entire whole piece. Once he gets here, then let's say he wants to do a carbon overlay or inlay here. He simply lays the pre-mask down and now he has the exact shape that he wants. And then he can cut through the pre-mask, cut out the shape. And then here, you did the carbon overlay here, really fit in like a puzzle piece. So again, really is almost like a plotted piece, but he did it by hand and with pre-mask.